Hey everyone, so big news for Linux fans. Ubuntu 26.04 LTS, codenamed Resolute Raccoon, has officially started its daily builds. Yeah, that means you can now download and test the very first working ISO images of the next long-term support release from Canonical. So as of October 22nd, 2025, the first functional daily builds are out for developers, testers, and uh, well, curious folks like you and me. Earlier daily builds were uh, kind of broken, but now they're actually bootable and usable. Now these new Ubuntu 26.04 LTS builds are based on the recently released Ubuntu 25.10 Questing Quaka, which dropped earlier this month. So right now we're looking at Linux kernel 6.17 and the GNOME 49 desktop environment. Over the next six months, Canonical's gonna update these daily builds with a bunch of exciting stuff. Like the upcoming Mesa 25.3 graphics stack, Linux kernel 6.19, and even GNOME 50. So yeah, if you're a developer or a Linux enthusiast, this is the perfect time to start exploring what's next. Now the final release, the big one, is expected to land on April 23rd, 2026. That's when Ubuntu 26.04 LTS will officially ship, likely powered by either Linux kernel 6.18 or maybe even 6.20 depending on what Canonical decides to go with. And of course, as an LTS release, it'll be supported for five years until April 2031. You can grab the daily builds right now from the official Ubuntu website. And that includes not just Ubuntu, but also all the official flavors like Kubuntu, Shubuntu, and Lubuntu. They're all running the same desktop environments they had in 25.10, but... Uh, Quick warning, these are pre-release builds, so expect bugs, glitches, maybe even a crash or two. Definitely don't install them on your main system. Think of them more like a sneak peek at what's cooking for next year's Ubuntu LTS. So yeah, Resolute Raccoon is officially in motion. I'm honestly pretty hyped to see how this version evolves over the next few months, especially with GNOME 50 and newer kernels on the horizon. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you're planning to test it or if you're waiting for the beta or the final release. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.